My name is Gus Vincent Torek Rosa. Wait a minute. Listen, I'm doing a video back here. Keep the people from coming back here and screaming. This is for Nelly. So if they're gonna come back here and scream, they're gonna ruin the whole film. Just wait on the customers and do what they have to do. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go by Nelly's house and they'll try to break in. I see the kind of shit I gotta put up with. All kinds of goofy bullshit. Okay, you wanna do that again? Gus in the store, he put me down with a herringbone and shoes galore. The number one store for all the rappers. All the rappers come here and buy their clothes. I travel all over the United States to buy their clothes. They call me. Everybody calls me. But the crew is number one. What's up, family? Before we get started, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and set your notifications for me. Now, being from St. Louis, you know I had to give Gus his flowers. Gus used to be the owner of Gus's Fashions and Shoes on Tucker in Washington. I got to give some love to Gus because he was the person that actually gave me my first job. He hired me to work behind the counter to sell the gold chains and Flavor Flav clocks. I'm out in front of Gus's Fashions, or what used to be Gus's Fashions. It's changed now, it's owned by some leasing company. But this used to be the corner. And the way I got that job was through my uncle, which you'll see later in the video. Gus is a St. Louis icon and a St. Louis fashion icon. If you was looking for the freshest hip hop gear from the late 80s, early 90s, everybody went to Gus's. That's where I got my first pair of troops. He used to sell Feli, he used to sell Adidas. I mean, you name it, Gus had it. If you were in the hip hop game back in the late 80s, early 90s, I think everybody came through Gus's. Well, what do you mean? Sue Live Crew on the phone here. I'm gonna get some interesting news now. What do you mean you don't know? What's happening? They got one you on two, you gotta wait for two live crew. Uh, how many people you want here? We got about 200 here right now. Yeah, we I'm got all your, uh, come, guys. we got all your pictures up and we got, uh, we got enough, we got about 20 policemen. Well, how many you need? We got 20 inside and we got all traffic policemen outside. Who are these people here? And we're always giving deals here. Every day we give a new deal in our store. If you look, we got the freshest stuff. I travel all over the country to buy stuff for you kids. So remember that when you go to these other stores. But anyway, we do give a lot of discounts on all our stuff. And they picked my store to be a discount store. Where are you from, St. Louis? No. Where are you from? Illinois. What part of Illinois are you from? Decatur. Decatur, Illinois? Here's a man that came all the way from Decatur, Illinois to shop at Gus's Fashion. He seen me in the GQ magazine. He seen me in the Ebony magazine, the Jet magazine. He seen me on, uh, on cable TV, and he came all the way down here to buy something off of me. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? What's up there, brother? How hey, what's your, what's your badge? What's your badge? NYPD. You have a badge from the New York Police Department? NYPD. Moving on to St. Louis, where they think they be bumping with gold teeth in their mouth, but they still know what's up. Pete, this young man's name is Chris, and he's a guy who really puts his money where his mouth is. <laughs> Uh, how much did that dental work cost you there? Chris? 150 a piece. 100, 150 a piece. Right. Dr. Coleman did it. Uh, Dr. Coleman did those. How do those babies work on pork chefs? 
they work pretty good. <laughs> wait, wait, this is really interesting now, Gus. Well, You're saying that you sell... 14 karat gold teeth. 14 karat gold teeth. I sell them for, some stores sell them for 100 150 I sell them for $19. And we're going to show you how they, what, how they look when they put them in their mouth. Come on. Well, come on in. Come on. Let me show you. Where you want the two at? Show me. Right in the front? Okay. Close your mouth and look at the camera. Oh, uh, you get to meet everybody, all the stars. Anybody that come through that's wild something, that come through St. Louis, that's rapping, they come through Gus. Oh, man, you name them, they been here. Nelly, Ice-T, uh, Dr. Dre, Jigga. DJ Quick, 2 Live Crew. Curtis Blow and LL Cool, the first rappers I promoted. And uh, Salt and Pepper, Easy E, uh, Flavor Flavor, uh, Spice One, you name a rapper, anywhere you go in the United States, they all know Gus. And you know, you name them. everybody that's, that's, you know, that's, that's big, they come to, they want that, they want that girl, they come to Gus. Well, they picked me because I had their hip hop fashions and they wanted to wear this kind of stuff in a lot of stores when they start coming into these fashions and hip hop stuff and all these leather coats that with the designers names on it they never had it and I had it so they used to call me up and I used to send them all the clothes and stuff that they wanted and then then they start getting together with me and we start running together all the rappers came through some of the R&B stars even Bobby Brown came through check out this picture of how young Bobby Brown looks back in the day so being a fan of DJ Quick, I know you've seen the famous shot of Gus in the video, Just Like Compton. And if you haven't already, make sure you go check out my Just Like Compton versus DJ Quick on my channel. DJ Quick was so impressed with Gus, he ended up putting Gus in the video. Gus was a who's who of St. Louis. Now my uncle also took this picture of Gus and a lot of his workers and friends and family out front both the Bobby Brown picture and the Gus picture with the team are in my personal collection of pictures from back in the day if you're in this picture or you know anybody else in this picture please drop in the comments and let me know uh, this guy here who, you know who taught this guy I gotta tell you who taught this guy how to dance Michael Jackson he has been appearing at the Apollo Club in Harlem all the penitentiaries and the jails. He goes there all the time to perform for these guys. And he's one of the greatest guys and entertainers I have ever met. And this guy, I nicknamed, I nicknamed him Electricity, the lightning rod, because this guy, he'll make you nervous. You got to see this guy dance. He'll do it all. Personally, I want to thank Gus for giving me one of my first opportunities to a job. Also, we got to give Gus his flowers and thank you for all the stuff that he did in the community, providing clothes to the kids and just basically being around. If you ever been to Gus's or shopped at Gus's, make sure you leave in the comments and let me know what you bought or how your experience was. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and set your notifications. Peace, fam.